Hi everyone, Tori here with a Project Life Process video called The Good Life. And I have some photos from last year, April, that I'm going to be scrapbooking. And I'm going to be creating two Project Life pages today. Um, I'll be working on one side first and then the other just because that's how I do things. Um, I don't really like to work on the two pages at the same time because my desk is really small and I don't have space to do both. And I don't know, my brain can't focus. I need to like work on one page at a time. So I am working on the left hand side first <laughs> just because it made more sense to me. So I started by trimming my photos down and now I'm grabbing some um, project life cards to fill it in, some journaling cards, filler cards, etc. And I am using the Studio Calico Lease Street um, Project Life Kit. So that's where the majority of the cards are coming from. And I grabbed one card from my stash, which is what I'm doing right now. And the card that I end up using is that striped one with the gold foil. And it comes from, I believe, Heidi Swap. And I end up just using that one and I'm covering up the heart with one of the Project Life 3x4 cards. Now, um, I'll start like I start usually all the time. Um, my Project Life process is pretty much the same all the time. I get my photos, place them where I want them. Then I get all the cards and place them where I want them. Then I round all the corners and then from there I start adhering things, adding my journaling and everything else. Now, um, one thing I wanted to say about my um, process is I just purchased the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Rounder Punch and that's what you just saw me using. It's on the left hand side there just out of screen. I do like it and it works really well. It's really sharp and it's working well. Um, it's a little bit of a trial to get used to using it um, just because it's a different way that you're punching, like you're squeezing together. And I find it a little bit hard, and I don't know if this is just me, but I have really small hands, like really, really small hands. They're like little children's hands. And um, it's a little hard for me to use the corner rounder punch because I have to like squeeze... Um, I guess together like I have to squeeze my hand together and it's too spread out so I don't know if that's just because I have really small hands or if that's like a problem everybody has but I don't know and maybe I'll just get used to it and it won't be a problem and I really do like the punch so I'm gonna keep using it and it's way better than what I was using before okay back to what I was doing I'll just fill you in a little bit about what I'm doing here that one card said, I think, good times, and I wanted to pop it out. So what I did is I used my craft knife to just um, cut around the word bubble, and then I took my scissors and trimmed really close so that there would be a space. Now I'm going to back the back of that card with just some paper that is in um, the 4x6 paper pad that I got this month. And then I'm going to use some pop dots, which I think these pop dots come from Studio G. And then I'm going to pop that word bubble up so that it just has some extra dimension to the page. And I really like the way that that works. Next, I grabbed this really beautiful washi tape um, that I received this month, and I just, I'm just putting a strip of it above and below that Good Times card. I just wanted to add some extra um, definition to that card and just something pretty, and I really like the way that it looks. The washi tape was a little thick, so I did um, cut it in half. Next, I'm just going through the embellishments in the kit to see how I want to embellish this page. And one of the things that I got um, were these transparent um, shapes, and I just like those little flowers. They came together, but I decided I wanted to spread them out, so I just used my scissors to trim them. So I could put two of the flowers on one side and one of the flowers on the other side. And um, I like that it just added some more color to that card. 
So while I'm gluing those down, let me tell you a little bit about the photos because I haven't told you about them yet. Um, this spread has three photos right here. Um, one of them is the one at the top with the food, um, which is currently covered up, is just some brunch that I had. Um, I work pretty hard, like um, like hard weeks, like nine to five every day, and then plus I work some nights and weekends. So every once in a while I get to take a day off, just which is really nice. And, um, and so on this day, I just was taking a day off and I really wanted to do something nice for myself. So I made myself um, crepes and it was really yummy. So I just snapped a photo. And then the two photos in the bottom section of the page um, are photos from my Monday night Bible study group. So on Monday nights, I lead a Bible study group of just girls who are all my age, so in their 20s. And um, right now we're studying Acts, or when we were studying this, we were studying the book of Acts. So we were just sitting around talking, and we were over at a friend's house um, doing the study. So I just snapped those photos, and I wanted to include them because they're photos of like my Bible study, but they're also photos of my friends in the group. So that's about the photos. The next thing I'm, I decided to do was I purchased a lot of stamps this month, and I really wanted to use them. I got this alphabet stamp as well as the stamps within the kits. So I decided I'm really going to push myself to use them in my project life um, and my scrapbook pages. So these letter stamps are called the Alex and Ben stamp set. And they're from Studio Calico and they come with um, all capital letters and they sort of come with two styles, like a solid and then a stripe. So I decided to do one word in the stripe and one word in the solid. and um, what you can see here that I'm doing is they're brand new and because the letters were really close some of them just the, stuck together so I'm just trimming them to cut them apart and it doesn't hurt them and I'm just writing out the word Bible study and that's going to go on that bottom card with the gingham sort of checkered pattern at the bottom. I had wanted to put Bible study girls there um, but girls did not fit, so I ended up just sticking with Bible study, and then I'm going to use something else for that later. Um, next thing, I grabbed my Wink of Stella um, clear glitter pen and decided to add some glitter to that top um, card with all the flowers, just because I was going to leave it quite simple, but I wasn't going to add anything to that card. I just wanted to add some fun sparkle. Um, next thing, I decided I want to add some more stamping, so I grabbed this tiny stamp set that came in the Project Life Kit this month, and I also grabbed some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. On the bottom card, I stamped the word reading. On the top card where it says this is the good life, I stamped eating, and then a little fork and a plate and a knife. And then on the bottom reading card, I also added a little book. And I figured those could be my um, journaling prompts, like eating and then put what I was eating, reading and then put what we were reading. And um, after that, I put that away. And one of the things I wanted to tell you just about this Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, it is so easy to clean off your stamps. If you use that ink, um, you can literally just use a baby wipe to wipe off your stamps and they're clean. So easy. And it keeps it quick. Normally, I like to use stays on, but if you use stays on, you have to use like a um, more like thicker, not thicker, a better cleaner. So I like that with the memento, I can just use a black baby, uh, black, I can just, with a black memento ink, I can just use a baby wipe to um, clean it up. <laughs> that's really funny. I was just about to say I could just use a black baby and that's really not appropriate. So, sorry. <laughs> that was a good... Oh dear. Okay, ignore me. It's really um, late. Actually, it's not late at all. I just haven't been sleeping for the past few days. So I'm super tired. Um, and that means that the words coming out of my mouth will not always make sense. 
back to what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Oh my goodness. Um, I decided to grab some of those chipboard pieces to add throughout the page. And I used a blue circle that says just smile on the bottom left hand card. I used a circle with a red heart in it or it's more of a coral heart for the bottom right hand card. I also grabbed an AM and a PM um, like banners um, which I thought worked well even though the photos weren't on the same day they weren't taken on the same day the um, brunch photo was in the morning was taken in the morning and the PM one is taken um, in a night time because the two photos of my Bible study were at night time and what else did I do here oh man this is horrible I'm really sorry next I grabbed one of those peach colored um, labels or tags and stuck it on that bottom right hand card and I just had to pick up that heart chipboard piece because I wanted it to just go over the end and then I stuck that back down and just seeing if there's anything else I want to add I decided to use some um, enamel dots so I grabbed these ones from on trend my mind's eye and I stick a couple on the bottom photos or just around the page because I love enamel dots. And these, my mind's eye on trend ones, have like heart shaped ones and triangle shaped ones, and they are like amazing. This is actually, I think, my second or third set of these enamel dots just because I love them so much. And I also grabbed these other ones from I Am collection and I wanted to say that I got these two enamel dots from the scrapbook cottage in Winnipeg. Woot woot. I was in Winnipeg for a work um, trip and some people on the Studio Calico forums told me I had to go visit two shops. I had to go visit the scrapbook cottage and I also had to go visit um, Mini Feast. And I'm so glad that they did because the scrapbook cottage is a really cute local scrapbooking store if you haven't heard of it and they were really sweet and I got these amazing um, enamel dots which was really sweet and mini feast is like a stationary store and I got these really cool um, stickers which you're gonna see me using on the next page so thank you to um, the three or four people who mentioned that I should visit those two stores and the other thing I got to do in Winnipeg, which was really awesome, was meet up with Sophie, one of my online buddies. And um, we had a great time. We just talked and ran errands together. And she brought me these really cute personalized cookies. And I had a great time. So I'm going to probably be scrapbooking about my trip to Winnipeg and meeting up with Sophie and visiting those two stores like in a long time from now because, you know, I work behind. Um... But anyways, I just wanted to give a shout out to Sophie and a shout out to the scrapbooking cottage and mini feast. So if you're in Winnipeg or if you're visiting Winnipeg, go visit those two stores. Anyways, this this side of the page is pretty much done. I'm just holding up the cards to show you. I added journaling to the cards and the journaling I added was basically what I had just already told you about the photos. I also grabbed the date stamp and stamped the date on a bunch of the pages as well as the Studio Calico roller stamp that I got last month. And on that Bible study card, I just stamped Monday night. So Bible study Monday night. Um, because our Bible study is always on Monday nights. Then I'm going to stick all those cards in the pockets. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to the second page of this two-page spread. Now I'm just going to start like how I normally start. I'm going to get all my photos, trim them, place them where I want on the page. Then I'm going to grab all my cards and place them on the page as well. And it's pretty much the same process I always have. Uh, again, I'm using cards from the Lee Street um, Project Life Kit. And then after I'm done with that, um, if I'm missing any holes, I'm going to see if there's any paper in the kit that I want to use. Or I might grab something from my stash. I don't believe I grabbed anything from my stash for this. I just used Project Life cards that were in the kit as well as um, some pieces of paper from the 4x6 paper pad. 
Then I round all the corners. So let me tell you about the photos while I'm working away. The photo in the top right hand side is a photo collage. It's a photo collage of my dad. And then the two photos that are you can't really see very well, there's a photo of an airplane, and the bottom one is a photo coming out of the airplane. And then the middle one on that collage is just some Vietnamese food. So what had happened was I was in Ottawa for a work trip, and I was just there for two days. I flew back to Toronto, and my dad picked me up from the downtown Toronto airport, and we decided to go for Vietnamese food at Mimi's, our favorite restaurant downtown. Um, my dad used to work downtown in Chinatown. And so we knew this restaurant really well. We even know the owners and the food there is so good. Anyways, shout out again for another restaurant <laughs> or another place to go visit. So that is that top photo collage. Um... The photo in the middle on the furthest left-hand side is two little photos of my work. One's a photo out the front door of the work and the other one's just a photo of my desk. And then the photo on the right-hand side that I'm working right there on is a photo of my Tuesday night Bible study. And then the photo, photo in the bottom left-hand corner on that yellowish card is for it's a menu it's a photo of a menu of a restaurant called Thai Villa which is a Thai food restaurant in Stouffville which is where I'm from and it's good food so that's that photo okay so what am I doing now oh yes okay so on the other side of this page I had popped up that good times word bubble so I decided to do something similar on this page so on this um, on this side, there was this white card that said right here and right now. It was a little Project Life card. And I decided to use my um, craft knife to cut around that, back it, and stick that up on some pop dots. So same process as on the other side, just repeating the same thing. Next, I've grabbed um, half a peach label to stick the date on that top photo of my dad and the photo collage. I originally tried to stamp on the photo but it just kept getting smushed um, so I ended up just covering it up with a label. I wanted to use this wood veneer April that I got in the Project Life kit this month and so I'm going to stick that on the top card, that top light blue card. And even though this isn't the first card in the April section of my project life, or of, of my album, I felt like it worked for this because these were all April photos. Next, I stamped the date as well as some hearts on that bottom um, like card that I have there. And that's going to be my journaling card. And I'm going to be using the project life stamps to create my... Um, journaling prompts. So I put eating and then I put Mimi's with dad in downtown Toronto and then I'm going to put reading, Matthew in the Bible study, watching, mom lecture, eating, Thai Villa for lunch, yum yum, to do, work, emails, phone calls, dot dot dot. So that's what I'm doing on that bottom card and I'm basically using that bottom card there to journal for the entire page. Um, because I didn't want to do journaling all over the page, I just wanted to keep it to one section of the page. Now here I was working away on my spread when all of a sudden I looked up and my camera had stopped filming. Uh, so you just missed a little bit. <laughs> I finished up the journaling on that card. I added the pink stickers to the card where it says work. And I also added some journaling around the clock transparency that I had added on that yellow card. So sorry about that. Now what I just showed you was those amazing stickers that I got um, from the scrapbooking cottage and now this is the botanical labels and stickers that I got from the um, Tiny Feasts um, stationery store and I, I used some of those stickers um, on this page, which is also going to cut out, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, I added some heart stickers on that picture of the swan. 
I also added um, the word life to that April card. Some more journaling and some just tiny word stickers around the page. I'm holding up all the cards so you can see them. I'm really sorry that it cut ahead. But instead of just cut this out of the video, I thought I'd include it and tell you about what I had done. And um, I'm sorry about my camera. Yes. Okay, why don't I just leave you then, since my camera is having issues, I'll leave you with some still shots so you can see close-ups. Thanks everyone for joining me, I hope you have a lovely day, bye!